You know, the areas uh, that the Browns in pass defense have had some issues, tight end, you got Mo Alley Cox, who's done pretty well. Running backs, you know, they got Taylor who can catch the ball a little bit. Um, those are always the areas where you try to find mismatches or, or open guys and seams, and, and that would seem to play into something Rivers does pretty well. Yeah, I mean, it's all set up for him. And we know that he's always had a great rapport with his tight ends, and, and now he's got Mo Ali cox like you mentioned, who's who's off to a really great start. They can lean on Jonathan Taylor in, in a multiple ways. You know, losing Marlon Mack certainly hurts them, but to have Taylor to come in and, and use him, that's huge. And, and Philip Rivers is going over this Browns defense, find the guy he wants to pick on and go after him. So it's going to be really important for Joe Woods, as hard as it is against Philip Rivers, to disguise what he can, and you've got to do it right up until the snap because, he, like I said, he'll take 39 of those 40 seconds. And the other thing that um, the Browns did a really nice job against, you know, the three-headed monster of the Cowboys receiving core. T.Y. Hilton's another guy, you know, like those three guys that can, you know, absolutely kill a defense. Yeah, T.Y. Hilton is a guy that I mean, it feels like he's been playing for 20 years too, like Phillip Rivers. It's just every week he's out there making catches. Got off to a little bit of a slow start this year, but it just doesn't really matter. He's a really good player, a really reliable receiver, and he can beat you deep. He can get you over the middle. There's just so many ways that, that he can exploit a defense.